Okay, now we have a midpoint. We have a negative 1, 5 is our midpoint of this segment. And we want to verify the formula of the midpoint itself. Now, the formula for the midpoint is essentially the average of the x's and the average of the y's. And one of the nice things that we can do in this calculator is we can calculate values based off of the points that we have and the different values that we have. So I'm going to show you how to first set up the expression. We're going to set up the expression that's going to take the average of 4 and negative 2, or excuse me, negative 4 and 2, and that better be equal to negative 1. So if we go to menu and you go to actions again, and you go to text. This means we can start typing in some text. Now, I get the text cursor that looks like the text cursor for Microsoft Word or something like that. I'm going to pick a point that's kind of out here somewhere. And it creates a text box where I can type in my text. Now, what I want to do is I want to create the average of the x variables. So I want to take this number plus th this number and then divide it all by 2. So I'm going to go over to my keypad and above the division side in blue is the the uh, template for division. So I'm going to hit control divide and now I have a division. So I'm going to take one number A plus another number B and then I'm going to divide it by 2. And I'm going to put equals right there because now when I figure out what this is I'll get an answer for it and I could just put the answer right next to it now I want this for the X's so above it I'll put X the apostrophe is down here there's a bunch of punctuation that's right next to the G key there's the apostrophe S and I have that I don't like it because it's kind of right on top of the other one. So I'll hit escape, get back to my cursor. I'll pick it up and move it. So that's going to give me the average of the x's. Now I'm going to set something else up. So I'm going to go, oh, oops, hit the wrong button. I'm going to go back to my menu. I'm going to go back to the text option, which is in actions, actions text. And I'm going to start another one. And this other one is going to be for my y's. So I'm going to go y apostrophe s. I'm using a keyboard so that's nice. I get to use the keyboard. And so I click underneath it. I'm going to get a new screen. I'm going to put in another fraction. I'm going to choose two more letters. C plus D and divide it by 2. And then I'm going to click over here and put equals and then I'm done with that so I'm done with the text so you actually have to write out what these equations or expressions are going to be so I'm going to move that over to here so we have our the average of our x's and our average of our y's so now that I've actually kind of written out what I want to do and I want to use these points they're not automatically just going to pop in there we have to tell the calculator to pop them in there for us. So I'm going to hit menu and we're going to stay in the actions and what I want to do is calculate. So at first we have to use the text in order to actually create the equation or create the formula for what we're doing and then we do calculate. So once I have calculate it says click the expression to evaluate then click each value prompted for um, then hit enter and you'll get your result so I want to calculate well that one's not working that one's not working and I think I know why the equal sign I think that screwed everything up so I have to escape out of that I have to click on this. I'm in my text and I want to just delete the equal sign 
get in here, delete the equal sign, because we don't want to make an equation. We want to make expressions. So we just make the expressions. So now I'm going to go back to actions and then calculate. Whew. Now I can now I can actually calculate on the er uh put the numbers in for the expression. So it says select an a variable or press variable. Uh the variable key would be if we want a certain variable to go in there. I don't. I want a specific number. I want the negative 4. So I want that to be negative 4. Now it says b I want to get the x from here, so I want that to be my b, and now I have a negative 1 that's with it, I'm going to put it right here, because that's what this expression is equal to. I want to do the same thing with c and d, because remember, our midpoint should be the average of the coordinates, so I'm going to take, and I need the 7, so I'm going to select C for 7. Now it says select D. Go to D here. And I got the number 5, which is right here. So now I got one, negative 1 for my X, which is right here, and 5 for my Y, which is right here, which is exactly what the midpoint should be. So we were able to actually verify what the midpoint was based on creating these different expressions. So, cool stuff. Um, so you can do a lot with this. If you know the endpoints, you can plug it in there. You could get really good at this and you can have your calculator calculate a lot of different things for you.